save our planet. Record high temperatures threatening Greenland's ice sheets. During a five-month summer expedition to the region, Dr. Alan Hubbard and a team of 15 researchers from Aberystwyth and Swansea Universities in the United Kingdom used a variety of earthquake measuring techniques to evaluate the thickness, speed of thinning, atmospheric temperature, and other information about the Greenland ice sheet. Greenland melt is considered the second highest cause of sea level rise after Antarctica, with a combined potential of raising global sea levels by 7 meters if all were to melt into the ocean. Scientists such as oceanographer Dr. Igor Belkin of the University of Rhode Island, USA, confirm that this phenomenon is already happening. As a consequence of Greenland melt, the sea level is rising. So Greenland melt is a major contributor to the sea level rise, which has global consequences, especially to those countries that are not very high above sea level. Based on an analysis of the recent five months of data collection, Dr. Hubbard concluded that the ice sheet's future is grim, with extensive retreating and thinning after a year of extreme temperature highs. Meanwhile, Dr. Belkin explained some of the factors involved in the rapid receding of Greenland. Over the last half a century or less, the average air temperature around Greenland increased by about two degrees of centigrade mm -hmm. and that's a lot now we also have ocean circulation about, around Greenland uh, such currents as East Greenland current West Greenland current etc they go around Greenland and they affect glaciers especially glaciers that come down to the sea we have warm in Irminger current that carries warm waters to Greenland and this current, it warms these tidal water glaciers, warms from below, increasing basal melt. Our appreciation, Dr. Belkin, Dr. Hubbard, and colleagues, for alerting us to the critical situation of the Greenland ice sheets and their threat to global sea level rise. May research such as yours help speed our efforts to halt these and other adverse effects of climate change.